What kind of fish is that? That has a lot of bass, bluegill. Everybody's not next to each other and they have a good time. During the pandemic, the San Antonio River is powerful medicine. It's peaceful out here. On days like today, with this kind of weather, anything's great. But there's a problem. Those suckerfish are like a bottom dweller. They call them suckerfish or armored catfish. Placostomus is the proper name. Look at this little sucker. It's adorable. People buy these little fish to help keep their aquariums clean. The challenge, though, is that people get tired of them, and they bring them here to the San Antonio River to dispose of them, where these little tiny fish can create really big problems. That's crazy. That's pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. Are they the ones that get stuck on the tanks? They yes. clean them up? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they get pretty big. There's been a couple that I've seen at least uh, two or three feet. Two to three feet? Yes, it'd be from like eight to 12 pounds. <laughs> I say we try to get one. Plecos are algae-eating bottom feeders. They don't go for bait, and anglers don't want them anyway. I don't see anybody keeping them. I wouldn't try it, so I don't know. Maybe somebody else might. Near the pearl, in plain sight. You can see that there's just a ton of them lining the, the channel. How many? The last time they cleaned this channel, they removed hundreds. They don't have any predators in our basin. Nothing eats them. Got one. At Blue Star, too. Wee doggies. They're easy to spot, and so is the damage they cause. They can wreck the riverbanks. They burrow into the banks. If they continue doing that in certain reaches, that will just continue the erosion and the instability of the bank. Bryant says state game laws require anglers who catch them to kill them. The experts say the way to protect the millions we've invested in restoring this precious place is to keep these guys out of here. We don't want any of the uh, non-native or invasive species that are typically put into fish tanks to be dumped into the rivers and creeks. If you like fish tales, at kens5.com we have a link to more amazing underwater video. Sue Calburn, Kens5 Eyewitness News.